Welcome back to Seconds Out Boxing. We are looking at the hook. If this punch is executed properly, this can be a deadly punch. First off, the question I get often is what hand position should I take? Either the beer mug or turning the hand over. The truth is neither one are wrong. There can be a strategic way to use both, but honestly it becomes about what you're most comfortable throwing as a boxer. So that hook from a beer mug perspective with that thumb up is gonna look like this. If we turn that hand over, it's gonna look like that. And you can see that Ian's even taking it a little further and turning that hand almost right around. Again, we wanna focus on contacting with those first two knuckles. The hook is one of the most difficult technical punches to master. It's a really important transfer of weight from the lead foot even to the back foot to hold that balance. We wanna make sure that the stance is nice and wide and that we're bending the knees. Really important that we don't stand up with it. Especially if we're throwing this hook off a right hand, the tendency sometimes can be to straighten that back leg on that cross, which puts you in a tough position to throw that hook off of. So no matter what you're doing, imagine that the weight transfer is the most important part. It's gotta come from the legs. So we're gonna take that left hook. We're actually gonna go without the hands to start. I want you to look at Ian's body position. So the hands are behind the back. Of course, you guys are gonna be practicing this in your mirror and making sure that you feel like you're balanced at the end of this hook. You're gonna take your lead foot and you're gonna imagine you're putting out a cigarette, maybe squishing a bug. I want you to pivot on the ball of the foot, similar to how we did when we threw the cross. We're gonna put the weight into that back leg and the hip is gonna come forward. A common mistake can actually be pushing the hips out and breaking the chain of power, which is your core. Your glutes and core have to be stacked together to create that rotational power when throwing this punch. Okay, Ian, let's add the hands back in. Now that arm position, I want you to imagine a 90 degree position just as a base. Some hooks are gonna be a little longer, some hooks are gonna be a little shorter, depending on your distance from your opponent. For a neutral hook, we're just gonna imagine that 90 degree position and then picking the style in which you choose to hold your hand. Focusing on that rotation first, not winding the elbow up from behind, we're gonna take that weight, transfer it over, and lift that elbow as we go. One beautiful fluid movement from that lead leg to that rear leg. All right, we're gonna keep looking at this hook and exploring it, because again, it is a very technical punch, and there are many ways to actually throw the hook apart from just the hand position. We're gonna learn in later videos how to minimize the actual rotation and still create the same amount of power. We're also gonna work on changing angles with the hook, coming forward with the hook, and even backwards with the hook, as well as things like the check hook. So, the last few pieces of information that you wanna make sure you download on this hook is to sit into it. A lot of people, when they're just learning, they're gonna stand up in that punch, similar to how I mentioned in the cross. So I want Ian to sit into his punches as he transfers that weight, which is probably the hardest part to learn about the hook. So when you're practicing this at home, make sure you're sitting into your punch, as we said. The last thing that we wanna look at is the defensive aspect of the hook. That right hand has gotta be slid up as he throws that hook. It is a very common mistake to drop that right hand and put it in your pocket when you throw off the lead. So make sure that that hand slides up high and you're protecting that chin behind the lead shoulder. Nice, you can see Ian sliding that shoulder up to protect that chin and that right hand is right there to block a punch, to catch a punch, and also as that weight floats into the back leg, he can throw off of that because he's sitting down with his knees bent. Make sure to exhale with your punches, stay relaxed, and start throwing those hooks. That's Coach Jana from Seconds Out Boxing.